promised you guys this before we went to break, and I told you we had a very special guest that are going to, that's going to be joining us and to keep in line with all of the excitement and energy around our very own NC State Wolfpack going to the Final Four and possibly, surely going to the championship game and winning it all. In light of that, we got the one and only, the great Derek Wittenberg joining us. How you doing? Oh, up, man. Appreciate it, man. Listen, I love the new set because now I have to listen to you two. I can look at man right, <laughs> right in front of me. I am tired of looking at y'all. Now I can look, turn to my left and I can look at man. Oh, it makes me so happy. That's what I want to do in the morning. All right, I love you two guys. <laughs> love the listen, Pam, you got the red yes, NCAA right. yes, right. Now that's, that's right. love. Now, wait, you got the red. Yeah, what I happened? Red. I got what, the red. What, yeah. What's wrong with this? I mixed it with blue. Yeah, what's wrong with this? I guy? mixed it with blue. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, right. that's all, why it don't look quite red. Up. It don't it's look quite red, red. On, man. I got a little red down here somewhere. Yeah, I don't yeah, know where. You know, you know, your your blood is red. There man. you go. Your well, blood is red. Yeah, that's true. Until, you know, until it comes out. Well, listen. Let me clarify one thing. Yes. yes you sir. talk about the dunking contest. Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 Let's clarify. Yeah. So in 1979, okay. one of the uh, one of the best high school classes in the country, which I'm a part of in yep. 1979, okay. and yep. I was a McDonald's All American game. I played the McDonald's All American game in D.C. and in Charlotte. Okay. okay. Let me okay. tell you something. All right. Dominique Wilkins. Yes. Dominique Wilkins. Wow. That was my, that was my choice. From Little Washington. North, was North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. yeah. North Carolina guy. Yeah. Set it on fire. Age, don't matter what era, your <laughs> 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, Vince Scott, don't matter. <laughs> Dominic Wilkins is the choice. Well, okay. But okay. you know what? I I'll take that. I'm Dominic rolling with Will- that one, too. Cause hey, let's roll that. with it. You're authority on that topic. <laughs> trust me. That. Oh, oh, I did win the dunk yeah, contest say that against too. Albert King and Gene Banks in the Baltimore Civic Center in 1978. Ask Gene uh, Banks. Gene I'm going to say, Gene Banks. I'm going to call Gene. Oh, yeah, I'm going to ask you. Call Gene I'm Banks call and call asking. Albert King. Okay. Albert King. Oh, Albert, and call Albert, Albert King. King. You got some names there, I want to dunk cut. I don't have Albert's no, but don't I got Gene's no. I think you can mention a subject about dunking or anything that I'm not going to be included. <laughs> I got history. <laughs> he said, I got hold history. Hold I got history. Hold on. What, what Just about Just because you see I'm short now. <laughs> yep. You got them ups. You got them hops. I think I can't jump. I can jump. What about shooting? Shooting too. <laughs> oh, I scored man. this guy named Michael Jordan, but now we get let loose. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's talk about the fight. Let's talk about the fight. It's amazing. It's amazing. Again, we got again Emmy Emmy awardee right here sitting next to us. Yes, a national champion, the My guy God. that been through what the guys are going through, and the women get ready to go through right now. And we're so happy to have him because he's been real busy, but he's felt. Show some love to the sports shop. So, Derek, man, thank you for having us on. But, you know, last night, ironically, I was watching 30 for 30. It was on. And, mm-hmm. and I, I saw you walking in like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a form of knee surgery <laughs> that I got to do. <laughs> but, but, but it was so appropriate because I knew you was coming on today. Just that whole run you guys went on, you know, 40 some years ago. Talk about. 40 years later, what this team is going through, and this, you can talk about the experience and kind of convey what they're going through right now. If well, you listen, yeah. this team, uh, the men, yeah, uh, was on life support. Mm-hmm. They had to go in the they had to go in the ACC tournament mm-hmm. and win five in a row. Mm. Nobody thought they were going to do that, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. exactly. Nobody. Exactly. I, I, they probably were surprised, right? Yeah. But yeah. now, what happens when you go on a run? You get confidence. The chemistry, everybody comes together. You're playing seven, eight guys now, and you start to believe in each other, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and all of a sudden it clicks, right? And this becomes like we, we, no, regardless of what kind of game it is, we we don't shoot the ball well, we shoot the ball well. Don't matter. They felt like they won, and they went on a streak. And these guys are hot nine in a row. Right. ACC championship. You know, regional finals. I mean, I'm so excited and happy for these guys. I guess I tell people all the time. I said, "Listen, it's nice. It was 41 years ago, but it's nice. We don't have to talk about 83. We can talk about 24, right? right which right. which is very special. Never thought in my lifetime I'd see it. Right? That we get back to the Final Four, but we're here and we got a chance. Oh man, I love it. We got Derek Winberg, Derek Winberg joining us this morning, man. It is a pleasure talking to you, talking about the historic run that you guys had, talking about the run that these guys are having. And talking about, you know, just how special it is and how it feels. Talk to give give me a little insight into what these guys may or may not be thinking 
right about now going into how historic it is, or are they just just playing ball? I, I think they're what I like about this team, especially uh, Big DJ Burns, mm-hmm. is that they're having fun. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes they're not caught up in this big moment, right? Mm-hmm. They even Final Four, what they just enjoying it, right? That's what the beauty of this is all about. Is that you, you know, when you come to college as an athlete, you want to get a degree, you mm-hmm. want to be a better person when you leave, but to experience being in the championship and going through something that people are going to be talking about for the rest of your life, it's a wonderful experience. So I think they're enjoying it. And stay loose, be happy. Listen, nobody thought they were going to be there. They got a chance just like everybody else, one game at a time. And uh, and just enjoy it. And I think they're doing a great job of that. Awesome. We're talking to the great Derek Wittenberg. Uh, speaking of a special, talk a little bit about, I know you've had some times with him, about DJ Burns and how special he really is. And now he's like America's favorite player. Listen, he, he came on campus when he was a ninth grader. And his daddy told me, out of nowhere, mm. I saw the kid in ninth grade. And I said, listen, if you come here at State, We'll take care of His daddy told me that. I didn't remember that when he wow. came on the camera. Are you serious? I, his daddy told me that. He says, man, I remember what you said to my son. I said, I, I, I don't remember that. You know, I talk trash to everybody. <laughs> 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 I tell everybody, if you come to the state, we're going to take care yeah, of you. Right, right, right. And his dad Equal told me that. His dad brought up the championship, the MVP trophy at, in D.C., and he took a picture of me with that. Man, golly. Man. I almost wanted to cry, yes. man. But the, the nice. kid is infectious. His personality, mm. it's just he's having fun. He just he just draws people, man. Yeah. I, I, I love his personality. Like, yeah. This kid's going to be successful in life because uh, he just he just enjoying himself and just being himself. Mm-hmm. I love I love his personality. Man, again, we're talk, talking to now an author uh, in, in the studio mm-hmm. with us, Derek Wittenberg. He has a book that's coming out in rough in, in a couple of weeks ago. The shot heard uh, around the world. I always call the pads heard around the world, but the shot heard around the world. Well, if you buy the book, you get more of the information. <laughs> I mean, five books. Talk to him. Well, talk to him. Ten books. Talk to him, D. Talk to him, D. Tell him about the five books. And basically, how you went from the, from the playground to the White House and that the entire run, and maybe DJ Burns will be at the White House at some point. These guys. Oh, uh, I hope so, man. Let's, let's, let's talk about how crazy it is. Just the NC State. The, this whole NC State community with the women, the and and also the men going to the Final Four. Well, two teams that wasn't ranked in the beginning of the year. Right. West had lost uh, five of his top players. Mm-hmm. Didn't know what kind of team he's going to have. Unbelievable job. Remember, West has already won three straight ACC uh, championships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's done a great job with the program, but he he hasn't gotten to the Final Four. And now he's done that. Now he has a chance. He's playing against the monster. Yeah, against South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, he's yeah. got a, he's got a chance, and uh, uh, I'm just so happy for both teams. I mean, incredible in this triangle area. Yes, <laughs> NC State. <laughs> Men and women, while they, and you know what's also so special? Uh-huh. I love the Carolina and Duke are cheering for us now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. That, I know. It, isn't that nice? Look, look. Same, there, I was saying the same thing. No. I said they never cheer for us. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Came back, whatever. Huh, yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. us. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What, what, what do you mean us? I ain't even gonna look what do you mean? Like, if you can because, have, because wait because your boy Whitmer is up in Willow. <laughs> don't we got to change up now? <laughs> that, <laughs> stand on your own truth. <laughs> it, it but is no, my but, truth. but that that is kind of cool though. Everybody, it, it, it really. I mean, it, why not though? I mean, it's get, a great story. Because truth be told, it. it's been a minute since they've been in the spotlight, and I know you know that. That's but right. now the fact they in there twice. With the women and the men? No, no. It's yeah. fantastic. It's just, I mean, yeah. I mean it's unbelievable. Great so for our university. Yeah. Great for the ACC conference. Yes. Yeah. For the state of North Carolina. Yeah. That these magical runs, it gives people hope. They're like, yeah. oh, okay, wow, this is possible. One thing people should have learned 41 years ago uh-huh. and learn now. Yeah. You're you experts. <laughs> On TV mm. and everything, mm. and on Talk. radio, <laughs> <laughs> you cannot predict in sports what's going to happen. 
No, you're right. That's you right. can't. It ain't about your opinion. It's about what you experience. This is exactly what you right. tell. When I was on ESPN, I don't care about my opinion. <laughs> it's what I experience. What I experience is the truth. Yeah, yeah. And you cannot predict yeah. sometimes what's going to happen. You can't say this team is going to win. You got to see what's going to happen, mm. and then well, your T-shirt says it all right there. Yeah. Yeah. Why, Why not, not us? us? Why not us? Why not us? <laughs> Why not us? <laughs> hey, look. That's why we sitting here. <laughs> That's, why we sitting. That's exactly right. You yeah. know, I'm going to speak uh, to the Shelton leadership um, banquet today. Mm. Uh, General Shelton was a great yeah. general. Wow. Yeah. 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 And I'm taking the Chancellor's place and because um, okay. Chancellor has to leave and go to Arizona. So I'm going to be the keynote speaker for this banquet for about the leadership program. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell these kids that's gone through this program that graduated uh, – why not us? Why not you? Mm. Because mm. this is not all about just sports. Sports is just one entity. Talk right. to me. We're talking about kids, the 99% of people like yourself, yeah. that's going to be success in helping people doing things beyond that, mm-hmm. wow. that we don't see every wow. day. Wow. Exactly the work right. that you do every day, other yeah. than being on the radio, that we helping kids, raising money, yeah. kids, and helping yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. what it's all about. Yeah. you got to use what you have done to help others. Mm. And that's what's key. That's so awesome. I love this run, but now we're going to be able to use this and to, oh, to help so many other people. Unbelievable. Man. Man. Another 30 for 30 coming out. Another 30 for 30. <laughs> Another 30 for 30. Why not us? Why not us? Why Another not 30 us? for 30. Ooh, here's, here's, here's the producer right here. I know. He's done it before. He'll do it again. Trust me, he probably got a long already. Hey, he got his eye on it. <laughs> we're, talk, we're talking with the author of The Shot Heard Around the World, yeah. the one and only Derek Wittenberg. Uh, NC State, great. And before we uh, move on and close out with your book, um, talk to, real briefly on what kind of job Kevin Keats has done to get this young team, get this team of transfers and others mm-hmm. to believe in themselves and go be great. Well, I, I, what I love about Kevin is he's weathered the storm mm-hmm. through tough times. Uh, listen, the team was struggling. Yes. And uh, he held them together. And he held them together because, you, you know, you got to hold yourself together through the tough times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the leader has to absorb all the pressure. Mm. Which he did. And I think he <laughs> took it off of That's the very kid appropriate. And, and put it on himself. And he's kept things simple. You know, and he's he's given all the glory to God and and, yep. and all the the things that he trials and tribulations he's dealt with with the team and everything. And I'm so proud of him. Unless I'd known him when he was a high school coach at, at Hargrave Military Academy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was eating ham. He was eating ham sandwiches then. And now <laughs> and driving the bus <laughs> as he said. Now, and doing the lunch as he said. Steak and lobster right now. <laughs> but, 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 and really, yeah. I, I, I'm proud of him, and he's grown through this experience. Yes. And yeah. I'm so proud of him and everything. And, you know, he's, he's got a chance to, to, to make more history. Oh, wow. Awesome. So I wanted to ask you, we're talking to the great Derek Wittenberg. Um, you can't go through this moment right now and not think of Coach Jimmy V. And for you to give some reflections on, have you just really thought about going back to your experience mm. and what he would be? Oh, right uh, now, Jimmy V, it. is this? his hands is all over this. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just think that... Uh, what we went through and what uh, uh, Jimmy believed from day one, uh, we we were part of the history. We stand on the shoulders of those before us. Mm-hmm. And so it was Everett Case and then Norm Sloan when they won the championship and then the 83 team came. And I think because of all that and Jimmy's spirit, mm. uh, it's all a part of it. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you Look, I tell these kids all the time that like somebody's done some things before you. That's take right. advantage of it because it's going to mm-hmm. help you in your journey. And I think Jimmy, I think all the time. I never. It's no go a day without me thinking about Jim Bob. Mm, that's I'm, interesting you say I'm that. I'm on the board. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, that's right. Of the, of the foundation, yep. and uh, Jim is always in my mind and my heart. And uh, and I think his it, people tell me all the time, this is this is Jimmy V all over yeah. again. And and really. Uh, uh, it's just nice to feel that every day about about Jimmy and and his, and his legacy and this team and what they've done. I think is incredible. We talking awesome. to the great Derek Winberg, and I'm being real serious when I say that this guy is a winner. As as I reflect back on playing for Morgan Wooten, uh, then of course being recruited here at the NC State, uh, and and playing for the coaches he's played for at NC State. Talk about they all brought something different to because they was they were all winners, right? 
So talk about what what was so unique about the the people you played for in high school and in college. Wow, it's just they 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 have different personalities. Yes, Morgan yeah. Woot was like a teacher, yeah, right. Mm. And his principles was God, no, family, no. Yeah. Sk- school, and yeah. then and then uh, basketball. Uh-huh. And he was just uh, he was just a mild mannered guy. Never said a profanity. Not, not, I mean, just a mm. just a regular teacher kind of mm-hmm. guy. Then you go. Norm Sloan, who was a maniac, <laughs> who would yell at you and throw stuff at you, but it was competitive, you wow. know, very competitive. Love that. Love and that. then Jimmy V comes in and he's the lovable guy. I don't mm. even know if he's a coach, he's an entertainer, <laughs> telling jokes. You said that actually yeah, yeah. in the 30 for 30. You yeah. said, hey, this guy, this, like, he's an entertainer. This guy was free, a free fall, like a player's coach, and he would ask us what we would think. I mean, it, it's it's so many different why, ways you can be mm. successful, and so mm. many different styles of leadership. Mm. And Really, I got a chance to experience all that, awesome. and uh, that that just helped me mm, in, yes. in my life to take a little bit from each one of those and implement it in my personality to to help me do the things oh, I'm doing today. That's totally awesome. Yep. Well, let's switch gears just a tad bit before we go close out. And I don't talk. want close out. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> well you can stay, but they're gonna take us off. Anyway. <laughs> well, I don't I mean, care. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna keep talking. Look, they can take me off the air, but I'm gonna keep talking. Hey, I'm gonna look, stay here all day. Look, now I, I got another two hours. Hey, look, I have no problem. That's ESPN. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna stay here all day. <laughs> <laughs> I got a third for third on ESPN. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they should let me stay all day. They know you. They should know me. Hey, look. I ain't gonna lie. I tried that one day. They said, "And." You said, I know Dan Winberg. He said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the rest of the story? Well, we got to get some more sponsors. We need more time. That's right. There you go. Well, let's get some sponsors right now. Let's talk about the shot heard around the world and talk about the experience of putting that together and, you know, what that was about. Because I think you, you came on last the last time and you yeah. talked about um, going through that process and thinking about your family and your lineage yeah. and all, this, all, all those things. Talk about that process and what, what should people look to gain in this book, uh, we we like I said before, there's so many. You, you're gonna learn about your family. Mm. Nobody's ever asked me where the name Wittenberg came from, mm. so I thought about. Let me start from the origin of Germany by way, uh, Plantation Virginia by way of South Carolina, and tell the story how my parents met, how they migrated from mm. the from down south and go to north for better better opportunities and then what they accomplished. My aunt who worked for JW Marriott and was the first manager for her in DC at the hot shops. And my uncle who Uncle mm. George, who was the first uh, black basketball player for Fort Belvoir Army Base in Virginia. So mm. I, I just history that I did not know about and history that you're not gonna know about your family right. until you dig in. And, Cause there's been a lot of successful people before you. Yes. So right. this what this book's about. I'm paying homage to teachers and mentors and, and people in my community that encouraged me, that said that you can do it, that you're yeah. worthy, you're intelligent, you're necessary. So it's paying homage to those folks mm. that helps you along the way. It ain't about what we accomplish because we can't do nothing without them. Wow. Right, right, That's amazing. Right, right. Teachers, That's amazing. parents. We don't give our parents enough credit. We don't give our family enough credit. That's true. We don't give our teachers and our coaches, we don't give them enough credit. So this book is about my family and hopefully leaving a legacy when I'm gone that my nieces and nephews and people can see, wow, that Mm -hmm. things are possible. Mm -hmm. This is coming from my family. That's That's what's going to be cool about it. And and speaking of family, uh, one of your family members already a national champion in 1974, David Thompson, who you related to. Yeah, and Albert Gentry. Yeah, Albert Gentry, yeah, exactly. And then uh, uh, David Thompson's niece. Yeah, uh, Charlotte Charlotte Smith, who's a national champion. Yeah, we got four in the family. Don't shoot me, man. You're trying to show me. We got got, got four. It's going to be in the book. Well, 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 you got members of your family from Atmore, Alabama, too, right? Atmore, Alabama. We may be related, man. I got people down there, too. Oh, you might be my cousin. Hey, look, Bobby hey, look, hold on, hold on. That, that would explain why he don't pass the ball. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that would explain why he don't pass the ball oh, at that's all. That's fantastic, man. That's one thing you that's... don't do. Man, I tell you, you know what? Every time you come in here, man, we have such a good yeah, time. I mean, oh, yeah. man, yeah, man. It's so yes. much fun. And we don't take it for granted either. We, we really yeah. do appreciate it. Well, I, pre- I appreciate you guys. Yeah, yeah. I love the work that you all do. Thank you. Thank the you. message that you send, the information that you deliver mm-hmm. to your audience, it is great. And it's just it's fantastic. Now the new set that I get to turn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I, I thought you were going to say that. Uh, anyway, uh, let's, let's go. Let's get us off there. <laughs>